how has listening to the customer played a role in the design and development of Spring Health? Well, it, 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 it's a basic principle that I learned the hard way uh, when I started uh, working with uh, people who were poor but mentally ill. Uh, that was uh, in the 22 years I spent as a psychiatrist, and uh, it totally changed my uh, uh, way of thinking about people with uh, so-called psychiatric symptoms and how they might benefit and how their families might benefit. So when I started treating them uh, as real people and respecting them and learning from them, it changed how we uh, provided mental health services. And in fact, we learned that people who were chronically mentally ill, maybe they'd been hospitalized uh, for a diagnosed mental illness uh, four or five times, they responded more to an improvement in their uh, poverty status, in, the, in their income level, in their self-respect, uh, than any formal psychiatric therapy we could think of. So we started doing uh, basic income and self-respect strategies for the chronically mentally ill, and then I realized that uh, uh, very quickly that people who were considered chronically mentally ill and very poor in Denver, Colorado, maybe were living on five, six hundred bucks a month. But there were people in Bangladesh living on less than 30 bucks a month. How the heck did these principles apply? So I started talking to the people there and uh, one thing led to another. But the whole approach is based on learning their preferences, interests, uh, motivations. And, and I, I'm amazed at what interesting people they are and how much can be learned from them. So there's a, been a bit of a tendency by charity programs to regard uh, their, the people who are helped by the charity as poor people who don't know any better and they can't think for themselves. That's a bit of a stereotype. But uh, when you start to talk to them and their families as real people and have some respect for them, all of a sudden your approach to what they need changes. And when they have to, uh, uh, on their part, belly up to the bar and pay for what you're offering, then uh, they'll tell you what's wrong with what you're uh, selling and uh, you have to change it to suit them in order to meet their needs. So it, it just transforms the whole relationship.